New at four, fighting to overcome the obstacles put in front of you. Let's check in with Karibe Devine for a story of strength and perseverance. Hey, Karibe. Hey, guys. Well, a couple of years ago, we introduced you to a woman in Chandler in need of a kidney transplant. Now, fast forward to this past March, and she finally got that kidney. Today, she's recovering weeks after that life-saving operation. Today is 47 days post-transplant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana can now smile. She feels a lot better than she did when we first met her. When I get like this, like I get, my body just feels like it can't hold itself. I'm 26 years old, the body of a 100 year old. Diagnosed with lupus as a child, the disease took a toll on her kidneys. She did everything in her power to spread her message. Just says I need a kidney. Eventually, she would receive one. On March 25th, her life changed. Over at a friend's house, and I woke up the next morning, and I had a bajillion calls from my mother, from the Mayo Clinic. It was the call that she had been hoping for. Huh? You know, and I was like, are you sure? And they were like, yes. So I immediately said yes, and then I was probably at the hospital within like an hour and a half. She received the new kidney that same day. I just feel like blessed and grateful. I'm transplanted. Tiana is still recovering, but now she's off dialysis and beginning to feel more energetic. I can get back to my life and I can feel accomplished. Life is looking pretty darn great. Yeah, it is. So happy for her. Well, Tiana says that she would like to travel abroad as soon as she feels healthy enough. And Tram and Mark, she says that hopefully one day she can personally thank the donor's family, and that would be a wonderful moment. We'll send it back to you. Oh, there is nothing greater that you can do yep. than organ donation.